Hello, everyone. We are the Tucson arm for the Institute of Human Development and the Arizona USED. This relationship has been in place since 1991 and provides IHD with access to clinical research activities. Tucson is located 257 miles south of Flagstaff and 66 miles north of the U.S. and Mexico border. Staff are located in the Division of Genetics and Developmental Pediatrics at the University of Arizona Health Sciences College of Medicine. Hi, I am Sydney Rice. I am um, a developmental pediatrician in Tucson. I care for children with disabilities. I'm a professor of pediatrics here at the University of Arizona, and I'm head of our division of genetics and um, developmental pediatrics. And so I oversee our clinical work and our research projects. Um, we are an active clinical group with three developmental pediatricians, a nurse practitioner, um, and um, several nurses working on all of our different um, activities and uh, projects. We also have a very active um, research side. Um, we um, help work on the ADAM project, which is an outreach um, looking at surveillance in autism. We have had a cl several clinical trials that we've worked on really focused on autism. Um, we have some research now um, developing in the area of autoimmune encephalopathy and um, many other um, projects. Uh, I look forward to working with you. Thanks. We do different types of clinical research. Our main activities to date have been public health surveillance, which primarily involves determining how many people in the state are affected with any given condition as part of a multi-state project. Um, we also do prospective and retrospective studies on various health outcomes and disparities in accessing healthcare. Lastly, we do clinical trials, which involve random assignment of participants and testing the inter uh, effectiveness of an intervention on biomedical and behavioral outcomes. The primary difference between our funding and the type of funding that you have at IHD is duration. Most of our projects last for one funding cycle and possibly two. If funding does continue for more than one cycle, the nature of what it is done in the project changes significantly from one round to another. Hi, my name is Virginia Ellis. I am a program coordinator for the University of Arizona. I provide support for all research activities in the Division of Genetics and Developmental Pediatrics. CH Strong is a survey completed by participants through self-report. It's funded in part by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the March of Dimes. It measures quality of life and health status of adults born with a congenital heart defect between 1985 and 1997. Um, in the 70s, survival through one year of life for critical heart defects uh, was at 67%. It is now increased to 83% survival. As a result, the number of adults with congenital heart defects surpasses the number of children with congenital heart defects, and this number will only increase. So CH Strong is one step towards determining the needs of adults with congenital heart defects so we can improve their lives and make sure that their needs are met. This is a brand new population that didn't exist 20 years ago. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Andrews. I am the Director of Research for the Division of Genetics and Development of Pediatrics, also the Director of Research for the Adult Congenital Heart Disease Program in the Division of Pediatric Cardiology. My primary purpose is to write grants and get research monies into the divisions um, for our different objectives. And um, I also analyze and publish uh, the data in peer-reviewed manuscripts. Uh, my secondary objective or duties are to make sure that all of the grant staff here in our unit have everything that they need and the support um, that they require to make sure that all grants and goals and objectives are achieved in a timely manner. It's nice seeing you all and I'll talk to you soon. ADDSP is part of the Autism Developmental Disabilities Monitoring Network. ADAM, uh, funded by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The network produces prevalence estimates every two years using special education evaluation data as well as clinical record notes. ADDSP is one of the few sites who have participated in the ADAM network since its inception in 2001. The funding for ADAM comes from legislation and has continued for so long due to the constant increase in prevalence over the past 16 years. You might recognize the number as previously being 1 in 63, but it has increased to 1 in 59 for the 2014 study year. 
Hi, I'm Maureen Kelly Galindo. I'm a genetics nurse and a research scientist in this division. My strengths are working with data. I love data. And I also do program evaluation, like figuring out if a program is going to work before it starts and how it's working during the program. Um, my clinical role is in pediatrics, and I help with genetic counseling for both physicians and families of patients with genetic conditions. Thanks. The Arizona LEN program recently started a new cohort of long-term fellows. This training program produces leaders and innovators in the field of autism and other neurodevelopmental and related disabilities who are solidly grounded in their own disciplines and able to work collaboratively with colleagues in interdisciplinary settings. The program prepares trainees to anticipate, manage, and take advantage of changes in knowledge and healthcare delivery systems. The program is constituted of 300 plus hours divided into leadership, research, and clinical. Weekly seminars are held throughout the academic year. The program starts with an intensive three-day leadership workshop with a one-day conflict management seminar prior to the spring semester. Uh, cultural experiences are also provided throughout the training year with experiences on border health, Indian health, and interdisciplinary multi-specialty medical care. Hello. My name is Eileen McGrath. I am an assistant professor in the College of Medicine, Department of Pediatrics, and in the College of Public Health. I am the co-director and training director for the University of Arizona LEND. LEND uh, is a maternal child health training program, and it stands for Leadership Education in Neurodevelopmental and Related Disabilities. I also helped um, reestablish a, a neonatal developmental follow-up clinic here at University of Arizona, now Banner. And uh, we have expanded from twice monthly um, to two days per week. We see quite a few of our NICU graduates, most of uh, the infants that are um, born uh, at 32 weeks or younger and weigh 1,500 grams or less and suffer significant issues within um, their stay at the NICU. I am also participating in a new um, program that we have at Banner in our newborn intensive care unit. It is the family-centered neonatal abstinence treatment model. Um, it's very new and very exciting to be able to um, have mothers stay with their babies who have been exposed to toxic substances in utero. And uh, we're um, really seeing incredible results. We have 25 families that have completed within the last year. Mothers and babies are home with one another and there has been a savings of over $2.6 million for the hospital. I hope you enjoy your staff meeting. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Jenny Savage. I am the grant coordinator for Arizona LEND. Um, I help coordinate the workshops, seminars, the different activities throughout the month, such as uh, trainees attending clinics and all the, the data entry for the trainees. Um, just a variety of financial responsibilities, and um, I enjoy working with the, the co-directors of the program. The Center for Post-Infectious Autoimmune Encephalopathies is a partnership between Banner Health, University of Arizona Health Sciences College of Medicine, and the Pace Foundation. We opened approximately two years ago, and we are one of the only multi-specialty clinics in the country serving children with post-infectious neuroimmune conditions. The center performs research, direct service, outreach, and education on autoimmune encephalopathies, and has funding from the Arizona Biomedical Research Consortium. My name is Matthew Murray, 
and I do research here in developmental pediatrics. I kind of manage the two research studies we're doing and help consent and enroll patients for our two studies. My name is Lynette Mayati and I am the CPA project coordinator within our division. My primary responsibilities include supervising and coordinating project tasks and staff, ensuring that our objectives and goals are met in a timely manner and that we stay within our budgetary guidelines. Our current clinical trials include the phase three and phase four Bloom study through CureMart. The drug candidate is a nutritional supplement that facilitates protein digestion. Many of the amino acids produced during protein digestion help build neurotransmitters in the brain and is thought to improve both uh, aberrant behaviors due to gut dysfunction as well as increased social responses. Argelia Benavides is the research manager for the division. Unfortunately, she went on maternity leave just before this video was made for you. And um, she is sorry she couldn't make a video, but she will be available for the next round. Thank you. We have a number of studies that are related to the mental health, self-care management, neuropsychological well-being, and overall quality of life for individuals with neurodevelopmental and congenital conditions who are transitioning into adulthood. Our first transition project is with the Arizona Department of Health Services, Office of Children with Special Health Care Needs, who are surveying the state to determine what proportion of practices that serve children have formal transition processes in place. We are also developing a training model to facilitate formal process adoption in practices across the state. We are using the GOT transition framework for this project. My name is Josie Serino. I'm the clinical research coordinator of the Bloom study. My duties consist of conducting study visits, dispensing study medication, and ordering supplies. And I'm also working on the MCH GOT transition study. Our other transition projects are centered around individuals with congenital heart disease. Children with heart, congenital heart disease miss a lot of school early in their career, are more likely to miss developmental milestones, and are also more likely to have learning disabilities and problems with executive function than the regular population. Unfortunately, many of these issues are not diagnosed until a later age, which results in poor school outcomes as well as poor employment outcomes. We are working with grants, national research groups, the children's clinics, and the Adult Congenital Heart Association to build better transitions and earlier identification of learning disabilities to improve transition to adulthood for individuals with CHD in Arizona. Hi, my name is Xiaoli Guan, and I work at the Office for the Division of Developmental Behavioral Pediatrics. And what I work on right now is helping with research projects and currently I am working on the CH Strong project and helping a little bit with the CPAE project as well.